forward, and then back, forward and back. Hello again, welcome back again to my channel again. I'm forward and back and I'm on my King Song S22, the Eagle, the slug. It's such a beautiful slug. I've got my Liart 7.5 helmet with the Liart 4.5 goggles on today and thought I'd change my helmets, change of wheel, change of gear. Hope the sound's coming through okay. I've got a different microphone set up on this helmet. Plus, it doesn't have a closed visor, so you've got all the ambiance. So I'm, uh, I think this is the third time today that I'm out on my wheel. I can't get enough. Wheeling and wheeling. Getting a feel again. I, want, I changed my suspension settings. So, you know, I guess the first time I sort of stopped and had a good hard look at myself and looked at the suspension settings of my wheel, took a look at the underbelly of the slug. And, you know, I don't know, I've been noticing the suspension. It's definitely very cushy. But I think I've been overwhelmed with all the new feels that I can't really tell which one I'm feeling. So I took a bit of time to actually look at what the words said on the back of the suspension settings. And it seemed, well it makes sense, you can adjust your how fast your rebound is and uh, how soft or hard your compression is. So I think that's right. I think I said that right. I can't remember what I said already. But basically you can turn the top dial. I think it was clockwise. It says it. There's words and arrows. It's really easy. That's what I liked actually. It's really easy. So you can just quickly get there. If you were rolling over some different terrain, you can quickly adjust that. That's good. Yeah, so you've got those suspension settings and the top one you turn clockwise and that uh, loosens, um, loosens, yeah, loosens it up. So that's softer, softer compression. And then you can also down the bottom, it's the preload, I think. You can adjust the rebound anyway and that's um, two other settings. Way to get your facts together, forward and back. Just can't think, all of a sudden I just got tired and just wondered who am I talking to? What are you even doing out here? Where are you? Whose wheel is that you're on? It's mine. Oh man. Yeah, so I adjusted the suspension basically to get it as bouncy as possible. A little bit of cush. Get that Cadillac feeling. And then I was looking at the pedal adjustments and I might take a look at that, you know. What a versatile wheel. You can uh, set it up in a few different ways. Set the height of your pedals. You can move the pedals forwards or back. Forward and back. Forwards and, and then back. And you can also adjust your suspension settings. Put heaps of different tyre options on. You can put stickers on it if you like. Big fluffy dice. Hang a set of them. Everything nice. Is that the crow? Brandon Lee. This is just my local streets. Just cruising. Oh, shirt. Check out this shirt in the box. Thanks to E Riders again. Bonus shirt. Didn't know that you'd get a picture of your wheel on your shirt. 
It's a King Song S22 shirt. I hope you can see that. New shirt, new shirt. I'm pretty excited. Don't have many clothes. And I told the wife that's why the wheel costs so much. Because you get free clothes. And she was stoked with that. She said, no worries. Oh, nearly dropped it. Didn't drop it, just it's heavier than you suspect. Not suspect, expect. Just trying to pull up, and it's when you're going slow that you do feel it. And mounting for me, still a bit of an issue. Just getting used to where I put my feet on those new pads. Shiny new Grizzler pads. Shout out to Grizzler. I should have an affiliate link shortly and I'll pop it up. So, we're getting there. You know, we're all busy. You need wheels and stuff. So I'm just going to roll down to the park. Just get a feel for this. Still feel like I might want to angle the horizon. The pedal angle just slightly forwards. And might move the pads around a little bit. Guess you're just going to take your time when you get your new wheel and set it up. Right, I'm going to roll on around here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I've noticed a big, a big batch of new injection of health and vibrancy to my channel. And that's how I feel. I feel a little bit more jazzed about it all. New toys and things. Yeah, it's got some weight, this pedal, hey, uh, this wheel. But you can get it done. You get the job done. And I just want to build up that leg strength, hey, getting used to this. It became second nature on the V11. So I'm just going to keep rolling until this does the same. Right, I'll turn this camera off and um, yeah, keep on, keep on rolling. So I'm keeping safe today. It looks like I'm a bit bulkier on the top, but I'm not. I am really don't have much up there at all. So underneath this free shirt that I've got, I've actually got some body armor. I've got the Lee Arts 3DF Air Fit Light body armor. You can see some of it sticking through the shirt. It's sneaking through there. And that's got, uh, which way will we go? We'll go in the grass. Yeah, so that the Art Air Fit armor has a front and back protector, you know, chest and a back protector there. It's got elbow guards, a little bit up on the shoulder, and just some light kidney protection. It's really light and durable and, you know, good in all weather because you can wear it under things or just by itself as a t-shirt. It's enough about gear, let's talk about wheels. How am I finding this then? Um, heavier, you know, things like this, stepping on and off when I've got my sore knee. I'm finding that that's a little bit harder because you need to just hold that extra weight when you stand on up on to the wheel. Um, that's all. You know, apart from that, it's just getting used to it. It's, you know, rubs in a few areas slightly differently. It's like when you switch your knee pads you, you really notice them for the first month or so because the pressure, pressure points on your legs are just slightly different. 
and this is the same so give it a little bit of time that that will it will all wear itself in and it'll just be like trying to think of something comfortable like a, a nice pleather jacket you know brand new pleather that fake fake leather stuff it'll be fun to get the strength up in the legs and really pop it up and use those use those grizzler pads for what they're made for And how do I find this helmet? You know what, if you watch my channel, please do, please subscribe. I don't make much, I, don't, I make nothing out of this. So please, if you've got the time, just a, a bit of a like and, and a subscribe and a share helps those algorithms and that all helps me out a lot. I'm trying to build this new channel and, and grow. So yeah, if you like it, anyway, if you don't, that's fine. Totally understand there's heaps of things I don't like. I don't like one wheels. No, I do, I probably love one. I've never tried, I used to skate, skating's wicked. So the reason I use the Lee, uh, the TSG helmet a little bit more is um, just the vision. It's also something that I'm comfortable, I've got used to, but have a little bit more peripheral vision. And I think that's really important when I'm commuting around. I got this one more for the trails and I just haven't been over the trails because I needed a new tire on the V11 and then I hurt my knee and then I was waiting for this and I'm really really itching to get over there and see what this can do so yeah stick by the channel and we'll do that do that soon I'm already used to the width, I think. You know, you, you do feel a little bit more bow-legged than I'm used to, but, you know, I'm used to quite a, quite a load between my legs. Um, you know, talking about the V11. Uh, and, um, yeah. Oh, that's um, the first 100 kilometers done on my wheel. The Kingsong S22 and the Pirelli Angel it's an 8080. Kept saying it was an 8090. That's what I thought. It's not. Doesn't matter. It's okay. So if you're looking, it's a Pirelli Angel 90 uh, 8080. Pretty good with my numbers. But numbers, yeah, 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers and no problems. You know what? The only thing that I've noticed was that the trolley handle. It's a little bit stiff to pull up, but it doesn't seem to lock in place. Maybe that's just a normal thing. It seems to be loosening up a little bit, I think, and, um, well, my confidence is increasing a lot just in this short time. I think I've had it, a, a, what, a day? Yeah, probably a full day now. Yeah, 100 kilometres, and I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, I um, if you followed my channel, I was looking forward to this wheel for such a long time and I went through all the the sagas there were a few so we had um, you know there was there was some there were some problems it used to have a different name uh, this is pretty and anyway yeah we've been through all of that and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and here it is the whole time I was just hoping I'd be happy with what I got and I you know I am so far happy to report that this is really cool. Cool wheel, heaps of fun. And oh, that's bouncy. See, that's good. I can feel that. And you know, I'm lost again in places I've never been. Places that I might not walk to and I couldn't drive my car to. In the middle of nowhere, there's a beautiful garden. Private property. I was about to say, this is why it's such a nice looking garden. Oh, well, look, thank you for watching my channel. I am forward and back. An electric unicycle extraordinaire. I'm not, I'm just trying to blow my own trumpet because I'm not doing much. There's a tennis ball. I found two balls today just rolling around. 
seems to be rolling over everything that I throw at it so far. This wheel, up hills, it's got um, little bits of torque, just hopping it up little things so far. Just trying to feel into it. You know, I'm as scared as anyone that gets a new wheel to push it too far or find a flaw, find something that sends it back to the dealer for a warranty claim. But, you know, we've all got to ride them out and have that anxiety about a new wheel. And then fingers are so tightly crossed for you and me and everyone else and King Song and all the other brands and everybody selling them, all the dealers. Good luck to everybody at Amped Games. Wish I was there one of these days. One of these days. But yeah, I'm really happy with the wheel. Everyone seems happy when they see it. Good luck to you all. I think I saw that there's maybe a revision already. Different controller board and they're offering a street tire. So look, you can see this is what it's like with a street tire. Much more agile. I don't know if this is my final tire choice. You know, I'm not um, not huge with my mechanical skills, but I'm going to give it a go, changing some tyres and learning on this wheel. And while the V11's sitting there, I'll give that a bit of a jazz as well. Hopefully, learn to play with that and get that updated. Have a nice day. Enjoy yourself, whatever it is you're rolling on, whatever it is you're doing. I'll see you next time for another video. Bye for now.